Alrighty, we got the fastest magma wood method, at least in my opinion. First off, you are gonna want this truck and this trailer. You can use a lot more trailers, as you can still get an absolute ton of trees. However, it just makes it a bit more inconvenient getting around the cave. So obviously, we're gonna go under. Uh, okay, my camera angle. We're gonna go buy a bomb. There we go. Yay. Oh no, maybe not. Alrighty, let's go down there. Let's go to the mid. No way. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much, game. I will be taking this off your hand. That's insane. Anyways, we're gonna go down the middle junction. Then we're gonna go all of these lefts possible. Here we go. Let's go down here. Let's just keep on following it down. And uh, here we are. Yay. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Thank you. Eh. Run. Perfect. All right, so the fastest method I have found so far is using one of the three junctions, obviously. You have a junction that goes to the right, you've got one that goes to the left, and you also have one in the middle over here. Now, with this one, you can drive your car very, very close to where the cave is. So here we go. If we just go down here. And this is why I wouldn't recommend having more than two trailers, probably. Even having two, it gets a little bit complicated because you've got to turn here. Let's go this way. Let's go over here. And uh, boom, as you can see, when we come to this turning, the magma cave is just off down there. So if we just chuck our car there, and apparently our piece of magnum, ma was it? Magnetite. All we got to do is this one simple parkour thing. Here we go. Down here, down here, over here, down that. And once you've done that one little kind of little obby thingy, it is right here. Boom. And there is an absolute ton of trees. Oh my gosh. But our car is just parked up there, right next to where this cave is. Now, theoretically, you can get some really, really long pieces of planks, and this would allow you to just kind of drive down here. However, that takes quite a while. And I don't really think that is too worth it. On the other hand, we are going to grab one tree to use as a bridge at the very end. The very end jump is probably the biggest and the one I failed on the most. So for me, this is quite efficient and uh, convenient as well. Let's grab our grabby grabber so we can sprint. Here we go. Let's jump up here, down this, over this, up here, up here, up here, to the left, over here. And uh, this jump here, I fell on all the time. So we're just going to use a simple, small little tree as a little bridge. Here we go. Is it going to stay? <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, are we good? Can we jump and run on that? Perfect. Okay. Okay. I probably should have used a bigger tree for that, but uh, it's perfectly fine. Seems stable enough for a bit. So now we have all the free range to get as many trees as our truck and trailer can carry. We're going to try and get some like thinner ones so we can see where we're going up the park all bit. And per each trip to the truck, I'm going to carry two or three trees. Let's just get this one. Two or three is kind of the limit I have found for like visibility reasons. You kind of need to see where you're going if you're going up these. Okay, let's get this one. This one looks really good. I would also highly recommend using this Ember Bane axe. The video is on screen over there if you want to know how to get that. It's also up in the cards. Anyway, enough self-promo done. <laughs> We're gonna grab this. And uh, this is the first three. However, it's only been six minutes and we've got a car down here. We've got a little bridge at the end with a tree. And we've also got three trees that we're carrying up there right now. Let's jump up here. Go up here. Go up that. Use our little bridge over here. Let's try not knock it. There we go. Perfect. And uh, let's just chuck those in here. Okay, perfect. Maybe let's move it up just a little bit. There we go. We can probably get one more in there as well. We've got to make sure that it locks, obviously. Jump on that. Down. It's now been a total of seven minutes and we're gonna go get our second load of magma trees. Now, if you don't know, compared to the old map, these trees have had a huge, huge buff. In the old map, they weren't really worth too much and they weren't really worth getting. However, now they are really, really good. I'm fairly certain they're about 156 per little stud of plank or at least of sanded. I'm going to plank them though, just because it makes you get more money from them. All right, here's the second one. These are some bigger ones. So I'm going to try with three, but I cannot guarantee this working. As much as I love the small thin ones, there's no point going around trying to find them. It's just a waste of time. Might as well try with these bigger ones. Yeah, this is going to be quite difficult. I might just use two. There we go. Yeah. It keeps getting stuck on the side of the cave. And it's only two. That's why I prefer the smaller ones. Anyways, we're going to go do this parkour thing. Oh, gosh. I'm not a fan of this getting stuck everywhere. <laughs> All right. Let's go down here. Let's go over here. And uh, here is two more. We're going to put these ones in the trailer. They kind of need a bit of like a longer longer thing to sit on because they are huge. Yeah, these are, these are huge. These are really difficult. I might have to chop these up. Yeah, I've just chopped the trunk off of one of these. I'm going to try and put it in this. There we go. Slot it right in there. Perfect. Oh, no, it didn't split to three. I didn't quite hit it high enough. Um, all right, here we go. One, and uh, let's try chuck this like long ways. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, we got to make sure it doesn't drag on the floor. Otherwise, it could literally sabotage us. If this drags on one of the bridges, it will either yeet the tree out of the thing or it will just take our entire trailer, which is not too convenient. All right, here we go. Oh, it split perfectly. Yes, that's what we want. Right, we're going to slot this under here, I think. Saves a bit of room. Let's try put this one under there or not. All right, well, if we go and get this this tree that means we have a grand total of six trees in under 10 minutes that's pretty good going i've definitely done much better and we can definitely fit another one there however i do not like driving with too many trees it's kind of a bit dodgy and uh oh okay that one didn't want a lot that's a bit rude there we go we got them right well we just got to drive back the way that we came we're gonna go across all of these bridges oh game do not do that <gasps> oh gosh oh gosh this game's lagging okay right we're fine we're fine <laughs> i love the little purple glow it's kind of funny all right let's just continue going 
going. Yeah, there we go. These ones are pretty easy, or at least they were before I failed on them. And uh, we are now out. So we're going to go back this way where the sand is, obviously. And now we just got to drive out. We kind of just got to hold the right. We just got to go out the way that we came in. Fairly easy. Let's go up here. Now let's go plank them and get a ton load of money. All right, so we've just hit 10 minutes 30. Now again, there are probably way better ways of doing this. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, that isn't though. Oh, no way. There's an electrified tree as well. Magnetite and an electrified tree. This is an insane video. <laughs> now normally I would park my truck under here. However, I didn't do it this time. <laughs> I put a skull through it. So it's probably going to add on a little bit of time, but oh well. All right, anyways, we're going to have to manually put all this in here now. But it's fine. There's not too, too much, thankfully. There is still more coming out though, apparently. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Maybe there is a little bit. <laughs> we got some falling out the back. It's still coming. How much of this is there? Seriously, there's more. <laughs> all right. Well, we are now at 14 minutes and 52 seconds. So in about 15 minutes, this is how much magma wood you can get. Or at least if you do it the exact same way that I do. Anyways, let's sell this and see how much we can get in 15 minutes. 66,000. So on average, can you get 100,000 in 20 minutes? That's pretty insane. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get this wood. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe. We're closing in on 10,000. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.